video tools. recorder. Video recorder, yeah. This 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 is a video recorder now. Um, so batteries small, for huh? field use, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's battery powered and it's got two battery slots. Um, and basically within the actual setup, you can go through and you can say which battery you're running off. Mm -hmm. You can switch between them and so on. It'll automatically fall over to the second battery if the first one gets too low. Now, it records in a couple of different formats. There's ProRes LT, ProRes HQ and ProRes 422. So yep. um, the nice thing is you can actually, with, with this device, uh, you can record, it records to a, a hard drive which just goes into a caddy in the side. Mm -hmm. You can pop that drive out dump it into the computer interface box, yep. which is just like a, another drive caddy with uh, outputs on the back and plug it straight into your computer, and you dump the files straight into your Final Cut timeline. So it's, uh, it's that workflow radically simplified Straight thing. in the Final Cut timeline's a, a fine idea. It's a huge thing. We were talking about that this yeah, morning. Yeah, we were. Um, we, we have for a long time been doing things like real-time ingests. And yeah, this, this what you're watching right now will get real-time ingested in five minutes' time. Yeah, and, and that's fine if you've got the time, but if you've got, you've got, to got have the real option, time. Yeah, so for every minute spare. you record, you've got to spend a minute dumping it across mm. into a computer. And of course, then you've got the issues like if the ingest fails midway or something like that. Or if you fluff your you lines. You have to restart it. If yeah. I fluff my lines, that happens all the time. Um, so it's the Atomos Ninja. The, the device actually comes as a kit. So you. you call up and you buy the kit and you get the actual recorder, you get a couple of low capacity batteries. These are these are actually high capacity these are ones. Because ones, yeah. we've had to record this like seven times so Julius can get his lines right. Um, you also get two caddies for drives. It doesn't come supplied with hard drives, yep. but there is a list of compatible drives. You want to make sure you choose the right ones and that's sort of going to give you the best reliability. Now Inputs and outputs is the interesting point with this because we've looked at some other recorders recent times. Um, the input on this is limited to HDMI only. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, you know, we've been sort of seeing HDMI for a long time was what you'd use to connect up your Blu-ray player at home and so on. But now it is actually starting to sort of find its feet. We're seeing vision mixes with HDMI inputs. Um, so HDMI input, it'll take the two channels of embedded audio off that and you can feed another two channels of analog low. audio in. Slow down. I'm going to plug a camera in the HDMI in? Yeah. How? With an HDMI cable. So our camera here, our P2 camera, Panasonic, mm -hmm. we could go into here using a cable. Yes. Wow. You do have a distance limitation on HDMI, which is five meters from memory. Uh -huh. Beyond that, it starts to get a bit flaky. But for, for well, most applications, here. yeah, I mean, look, it's designed with <coughs> these, these little mounting threaded things. So you can actually mount it uh, right next to your camera. Yeah. Um, it'll also give you a considerably, uh, considerable amount of record time, uh, depending on the drive size that you actually put into the device. Mm. Uh, okay. Using it so, so, so stupidly simple, you turn it on, you plug your input in, you press record, uh, and that's pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, it's a field unit, look at it. It's yeah, rugged. yeah the, there's a menu, the menu configuration is, is all fairly simple, mm. it all makes a lot of sense. Um, and the other nice thing is that it's got a built-in monitor, so mm. you press the monitor button, and that will actually show you what's going on in real time what's yeah. coming into the device. Yeah, so good. you don't actually need an external confidence monitor because you can see it on, on mm. the actual device itself. How much? It's under about 1500 bucks um, as, with you know the kit. So basically the only thing mm. you need to add is a couple of drives. Excellent. So there you the go. Atomos Ninja. Bring it on.